Well, I think, um, you know, after last season, um, you know, very, very good team at home and uh, pretty inconsistent on the road. Um, hopefully with 10 returners that have been in the program, seven of those have been in the program at least two years. Uh, we feel like experience is going to be um, something we're going to lay our hat on and, and uh, hopefully will carry us, you know, certainly in the tough road season. Well, we lost three pretty good players and all-conference players, and um, anytime you lose three all-conference players, uh, there's obviously some things that have to happen for you to be successful. And, uh, you know, one of those things is going to be players that have been role players in our program are now going to have to step up and be more of a uh, con consistent contributor um, for our team this year. And, uh, you know, as those roles are defined and as those players um, come to the forefront, hopefully uh, they'll be able to replace those kind of players. And, um, you know, Deprice Taylor was a great driver for us. Nicole was was a really nice player inside and and of course we had Maya at the point guard but uh, um, you know the development of Courtney Tate at the point guard position for us she played sparingly last year as a backup uh, along with Drew Roberts we feel like um, you know we've, we've made some strides um, at that position and and uh, you know hopefully that can take us to um, to where we need to be. Well, you know, I think everybody's going to say staying healthy, but for us, it's really the truth. Uh, Larissa Richards is uh, one of our biggest, uh, our most important players, especially defensively. And, and if we can keep her healthy and get her through the season, I think our team uh, will be a much better team. And uh, along those lines, uh, um, you know, just overall program growth and player growth and Again, we've had some players now that have been here for a couple of years, and for us to be successful, they've got to take on new roles and, and uh, accept those roles and be willing to do some things they haven't done in the past. Overall expectations will, uh, you know, we'll use the cliches, but uh, we obviously want to get better every day, and, um, and we, we need to play better on the road. Um, we proved last year that you know, at home we're a pretty good team, and when you're good at home but not very good on the road, I think a lot of that has to do with uh, with uh, discipline. It has a lot to do with mental toughness, and I really believe that uh, if we can improve that mental toughness factor, which you know we we uh, are working on daily in practice, but uh, mental toughness is going to be the key for us. Well, I think Laura Glenn comes to mind. Uh, you know, she's a senior, been in our program now for four years. Uh, had a great MIAA tournament game at the end of the year last year. She's been an on and off starter for us for four years now. And uh, her mental toughness and her grit and her guts are, you know, something we'll, we'll feed off of. Uh, we have a senior transfer, Kylie Baldetti, that uh, is really, um, from day one, has, has gained respect with uh, her work ethic, her leadership ability. and. Uh, you know, she's a senior, but she is a first-year player, but um, probably our most important player right now because of um, the way that she demands respect and uh, the way she carries herself on the basketball floor. Uh, she's probably one of our most important players. Um, I think Larissa Richards, obviously, inside. A healthy Larissa, Larissa Richards makes our team a lot better, and um, her ability to block shots and take up space and um, and then again, uh, you know, six foot six Lauren Brown is going to play a huge factor for us this year. A spot player a year ago is is really going to have a chance to come out this year and and show what she can do. And um, Drew Roberts at the guard position had a, a very good start to a freshman season a year ago, and uh, um, we, we feel like uh, with her maturity and, and her development, uh, she's going to be an impact player in our league. Uh, we've talked about Kylie Baldetti, and again, she'll be a, um, she'll be our probably our biggest impact player. And uh, our junior college transfers, Brooke Connolly from from uh, Barton County Community College, has, has uh, shown some good uh, signs in preseason and um, in the individual drills. And now went through a couple weeks of practice or a week of practice. And uh, our two freshmen, Alexa Bordewick and Y Cedar Deaver, should be uh, they should see some time early this year. And, and be able to come in and play and 
and help our program. And um, also uh, transfer Ashley Hansen and Brittany uh, Foster from Coffeyville Community College. Um, those guys have, uh, are going to be able to help us in the, on the wing and, and with their athleticism. So um, a little bit of, you know, we have 10 returners, but we also have six or seven new guys that we feel that uh, can come in and help us and, and uh, help our program. Um, but we're going to rely on our, our returners and uh, certainly Kylie Baldetti.